So the basic types of pain or classifications of pain um, include acute pain and chronic pain. Um, we'll talk about headache pain as a specific type of pain, um, even though there are lots of different causes for it. So um, acute pain is usually sudden and severe onset, but it's short term. Um, acute pain typically indicates tissue damage and decreases once the cause of the pain has been treated. Um, acute pain may be localized or generalized, but it's frequently localized. That is um, frequently one of the characteristics of acute pain. Um, it, acute pain initiates a physiologic stress response, including increased blood pressure and heart rate, um, cool, pale, moist skin, um, increased respiratory rate, and increased skeletal muscle tension. Um, so vomiting is uh, sometimes associated with acute pain, no fun there. Um, and people may have a strong emotional response to acute pain. Um, a lot of times that is indicated by their facial expression or verbal expression um, or a high anxiety level. So acute pain is usually pretty easy to identify. Chronic pain, um, on the other hand, uh, is long-term pain that can lead to different and often negative effects. Um, it can have a huge effect on people's lives. So um, chronic pain occurs over an extended period of time. It may be recurrent or it may be continuous. Um, it's usually more difficult to treat than acute pain. Um, and the prognosis is less certain. So, um, a lot of times the patient perceives chronic pain as being more generalized and it's difficult for them to discern an exact location. Um, so the person who's experiencing pain um, may be fatigued, irritable, and distressed or depressed. Um, sleep disturbances are common with chronic pain. Um, Appetite might be effective. It can lead to weight gain or weight loss. And a lot of times the specific cause is less apparent. Um, it's impossible to sustain a sympathetic stress response over a long period of time, but um, the person with chronic pain often um, responds to the stress with the fatigue and irritability and possibly depression. Um, Constant pain frequently affects daily activities and, and can become a primary focus in the life of the individual experiencing pain. So it complicates measures to affect pain with medication or other methods because it's changed their life somehow. Um, periods of acute pain um, can accompany exacerbations of chronic disease, making it more difficult for the patient to um, participate in their daily lives. So this little um, graph is from a chronic pain site, um, which I thought was interesting, little pie chart. Um, the mind of a healthy person is dealing with all these things. The mind of a chronic pain sufferer, half of their attention is being taken up by pain. So they still have all those other things to deal with, but they don't have as much capacity to deal with it. So I always say they have less bandwidth for dealing with pain. So things that would normally um, be something they could easily deal with might be um, a lot harder for them to deal with because they just don't have the resources to deal with things because a lot of their resources are being taken up with dealing with the pain. So um, chronic pain um, usually reduces tolerance to additional pain as well, because you're already on low bandwidth and it makes it even lower. Um, more people live with chronic pain than cancer, heart disease, and diabetes combined. It's a huge number of Americans that are living with 30%. They're living with some form of chronic or severe pain. And a lot of these people are our patients in physical therapy. So we need to learn um, strategies for dealing with chronic pain. So this is one of the, the great uh, green charts in the book. You know, I love the green charts because they boil everything down into a nutshell. And this compares chronic and acute pain by type of pain, um, stimuli, pathway, response, emotion, and treatment. So um, acute pain is usually a warning. It's fast localized pain. Chronic pain, pain is slow, diffuse, and prolonged. 
Um, the stimuli are usually mechanical or thermal, or sometimes chemical for acute pain. Um, chronic pain, either it's existing stimulus, um, or um, meaning there's something going on in the nervous system, or chemical stimulus from um, endogenous chemicals or exogenous chemicals. Um, the pathway is usually the fast A delta myelinated fibers, the spinothalamic tract. Um, the slow unmyelinated C fibers are usually the chronic pain fibers. So they talk about it in the book as neospinothalamic and paleospinothalamic, new and old. If you want to think of it that way, new pain versus old pain, acute versus chronic. Um, the response with acute pain is sudden and short term. Um, there's a stress, physiological stress response associated with it. Um, chronic pain is long term and potentially disabling, and it can be associated with fatigue, depression, and irritability. Um, the emotion usually felt with acute pain is anxiety. Um, chronic pain, a lot of times it's loss of hope, depression, and anger. Those are all terrible things. <laughs> we don't want to get to that point. Um, the treatment, um, usually for acute pain, if the cause is identified, the treatment is effective. Um, for chronic pain, it's way more difficult to treat effectively. So we have to use a, a, multiply, a multiple stage approach to chronic pain, including um, physical treatments, education, um, sometimes medical treatments in cooperation with their doctor. So um, chronic pain is much more difficult to treat. So headache pain is a specific type of pain which can be acute or chronic and lots of different things can cause headaches. It's, it's a pretty common type of pain. Most of us have experienced it. Um, so lots of different causes, lots of different um, locations and characteristics. Um, headaches can be associated with congested sinuses, like from allergies, um, nasal congestion or eye strain, and those are usually right in front, head and eye area, forehead. Um, sinus headaches can be severe. Um, they're usually steady and they're relieved when the cause is removed. So some people, they have a sinus headache because they slept with the windows open last night and whatever they're allergic to came in and the allergens got up their nose. They take some allergy medicine and it goes away. <laughs> That's a good thing when that happens. Um, or, you know, rinse out their sinuses, whatever their strategy is. Tension headaches um, are often associated with um, muscle spasm. They can result from emotional or physical stress that causes the neck muscles to contract, um, pulling on the scalp. Sometimes when people work for long periods of time in one position, or if you don't have a good ergonomic setup for your workstation at home, um, you can it can cause um, tension headaches. Um, they're often in um, uh, the temporal area, sometimes can be caused by temporomandibular joint syndrome um, in your jaw. Um, a lot of times the tension muscular headaches are like a dull, constant ache. A lot of times it's right in the occipital area in the back of your neck. Um, tension headaches tend to persist. If there's a specific cause like your workstation setup, you can change that and hopefully change the um, path of the headache. Um, if there's not a specific cause, you might need to do things like um, breathe, meditate, relax, stretch, um, massage, lots of, different, um, lots of different things for dealing with stress. Um, TMJ, um, it can be caused by um, inflammation or it can be caused by arthritis or poor um, posture, poor body alignment. Um, migraine headaches are usually caused by abnormal blood flow and uh, metabolism in the brain. They're not fully understood, but there are better treatments for migraines, medical treatments, than there ever used to be. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, intracranial headaches are usually caused by um, something that is causing increased pressure inside the skull. So it could be an injury or a tumor or um, inflammation. Um, so as you can imagine, those are pretty serious. Um, so if somebody um, has uh, increased intracranial pressure, that's something that really needs to get treated right away. So a lot of times um, physical therapists are having to um, 
determine whether a headache is something that we can deal with in physical therapy, like muscle spasm and tension, yes. Or um, there are certain um, cervical uh, disorders that can cause headaches, but there are things like migraine and intracranial headaches and um, TMJ that we're not necessarily treating in PT. So they need to be referred to another practitioner. So um, there are types of pain that, um, that we can't necessarily do anything about um, that, that, well, sometimes, but anyway, central pain is caused by dysfunction or damage to the brain or spinal cord. So um, central pain is, um, it can be a lesion like an abscess or, or a tumor um, or damage resulting from an injury, um, but it could also be um, neuropathic pain, which is caused by uh, trauma or disease involving the peripheral nerves. Um, and neuropathic pain generally um, includes adaptations in the nervous system that um, help you perceive pain more. That's not good. Those are not positive adaptations. So neuropathic pain is um, like a disease of the nervous system, if you want to think of it that way. Um, ischemic pain results from profound sudden loss of blood to an organ or tissue. So um, a heart attack is usually ischemic pain. Um, pain associated with a stroke can be ischemic pain. Um, if there's something that is um, blocking off your blood flow, that's pretty serious. Um, Cancer-related pain can be um, caused by the advance of the disease. It can be pain associated with the treatment like radiation or chemo or surgery, um, or it can be um, the result of existing disease. So another disease that is coexisting with the cancer. Um, the most common category encountered in cancer-related pain is caused by the advance of the disease. So as tumors grow, they can cause infections and inflammation. Um, they can cause increased pressure on nerve endings and stretching of tissues or obstruction of vessels, ducts, or intestines. So um, can cancer treating cancer-related pain is part of the whole picture of cancer treatment. And we'll talk more about cancer towards the end of the quarter.